From now till noon, stay with us in the listening room. Today's youthful guests in the listening room arrived very early this morning, and they've been hard at work ever since. And uh, here's your host, Robert Sherman, to introduce them and tell us all about them. Thank you, Matt. Good morning. Uh, your implication, of course, is that I haven't been working hard all morning. All right. I, I get the picture. But, uh, yes, we are going to have a number of young musicians with us today. Uh, first of all, at uh, 11.06, we'll be joined by Anne Zalkin, the young pianist. Uh, it, as it happens, I covered her debut recital here in New York about three years ago, and I liked her very, very much, so I'm quite interested to hear how she's playing these days and, and what she's doing and how her career is developing. Meanwhile, we will spend our first hour with the Lydian Chamber Players. Mike Getson, who is the, I don't know, what are you, the founding father or something? Well, you could call me the founding father, the organizer, the librarian, manager, recording engineer, everything in the books. I see. And so, uh, anyway, Mike Getson is a guy who's been hanging around the Lydian Chamber Players for quite a time. Uh, last time you brought the Lydian Chamber Players here, uh, you were disguised as a uh, West Point uh, Army bandsman. Well, it what? wasn't a disguise, it was a reality. Uh-huh. <laughs> the, uh, since then, I have moved to the Washington area, specifically Arlington, Virginia, where I reorganized the group and uh. have made it a more flexible group than it was before. Uh -huh. at West and when Point. you say you moved, uh, does that mean you moved or does that mean the Army moved you? Well, I moved. You moved. Does I moved. I simply transferred from the West Point band down to Washington. But you are still in the Army band I'm in there? the Army band in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. And uh, all your colleagues are uh, all of them bandsmen? Are no, all of them are, well, it depends how you look at it. We have three Army bandsmen well, I don't know, here. How do they look at it? How does well, the Army look at it? Well, as long as it's not in conflict with their policies or their practices regarding, you know, playing on the outside, mm -hmm. and you're not making a fortune at it, it's it's usually all right we'll as long as you know about it. We'll help you in that department not making a fortune, it's so that's all right. Non-profit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you all are uh, military bandsmen. Right. And let me, at this point, uh, mention the other members of the uh, Lydian Chamber Players who are with us this morning. Uh, the violinist, Robert Zelnick, violist, George Boshakivsky. Do I have that right? That's correct. Good. Uh, uh, Ukrainian yes. descent there. Uh, David Boyle is the cellist and pianist Anthony Rocha. Now, uh, the army organizations in Washington, do they have pianists? Do they have violinists? Is this an, or is this a, oh, that's an orchestra part of the rather than a, than a band? Well, they, they uh, don't confuse the term band. The band is basically a musical organization which encompasses all forms that are required by the military establishment down there. For instance, they have a the army band has a chorus mm -hmm. in which there's two pianists, in which Tony here is one of them, and there are strings which carry out the, you know, the things that the military wants to use the strings for, you know, like small chamber orchestras and mm -hmm. and other related activities. I was going to mention in that. Oh, so if you're going to mention yeah. anything, swing around to the <laughs> front of the mic here. Get a little closer here, right? Uh, I was going to mention in that line, uh, as far as the strings go, that uh, very often you you know you see in the papers uh, dinners and and other state functions happening at the White House, and very often there are string groups there from military bands, and uh, we have wind players from the bands plus the string complements, and that's that's what we do. Mrs. Zelnick, have you played at the White House yet? Uh, more often than I'd like to remember, <laughs> uh, if I may be so bold. But uh, uh, I don't know. It's your job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, is, uh, what, what sort of music is favorite at the White House these days? Uh, you play Beethoven quartets, or uh, very rarely. They they like things that they don't really have to listen to. Uh, things figures. That, what uh, what uh, for instance? Uh, things such as uh, Mancini, uh, uh, show tunes. Uh, medleys of show tunes and some mm -hmm. light semi-classical. Now we know why the arts are in trouble. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you find that uh, your work in the 
You're in the Army Band? Uh, no, I'm in one of the other services, which I, I ought to uh, not mention, I believe. But uh, <laughs> we're What's we matter, all... illegal or something? <laughs> well, uh, I really don't know. I, you know, uh, I have a few more months, and uh, I hate to uh, make it any more uncomfortable than it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a minute. Uh, that points up an interesting uh, question. Uh, Mike Getson, if, for instance, Mr. Zelnick is, is separated from the service, does that mean the Lydian chamber player loses a violin? I, I mean, would say so. But usually the, there's, a, there's a good number of string players in many of the service bands mm -hmm. around Washington. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's very difficult to get string players to, to play with a wind player like me, you know? Mm -hmm. And I've I've been very lucky. I mean, so not only far. the services don't talk to each other, but the wind <laughs> players don't talk to the string player. Well, you got trouble. Almost. <laughs> almost. So, what sort of uh, concerts, what sort of activities have you been, has the Lydian Chamber players now been uh, involved with? Well, I've just started the, I reorganized the group down there about six months ago, and mm -hmm. now that I've more or less gotten the feel of who is there and who I know, I'm able to better organize and set up some kind of solid programs that I can plan on on concertizing around mm -hmm. around that area. I see. I'm basically uh, thinking in terms of the colleges and the universities right around Washington and uh, some a couple concerts right around New York as well. Oh, really? Anything uh, in, that you can tell us definitely yet? Well, we have a tentative agreement with about 23 people. <laughs> Uh -huh. To do okay. a large scale, <laughs> to do a large scale program, mm -hmm. at one of the halls in New York, I'm thinking probably the New York Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten together with the people, and they, so far, 21 out of 23 have agreed to go ahead and oh, pitch average. in and try to get the hall and Great. pitch on a program. Very very good. Uh, we will of course hear performances by the Lydian Chamber players today, or at least the five members who are here. How large a group? Does it encompass at full capacity? Well, it depends on the music. It's all dependent on the repertoire we do. For uh -huh. instance, the the program I'm thinking of in May, we'll, we're going to be. I'm planning on doing the Mozart Serenade Number no. Twelve for winds. That's eight people, uh -huh. and the Florence Schmidt Lied and Scherzo for double woodwind quintet with solo horn, uh -huh. and the Good Soldier Schweik Suite of uh, uh -huh. Kirka, which is for 16 people, and the Vaughn Williams Scherzo from the Eighth Symphony for Wind Instruments, which is, uh -huh. that's a full orchestral wind section. Right. right so right. it depends on, it's almost on a whim of what what, what I would probably want to play. Uh -huh. And it's all in agreement, and I try to make the programs interesting enough to encourage people I to see. play. Now, Mike Getson, the pieces you'll play for us this morning, uh, one I must confess you have never abashedly heard of. I have never heard of and it's by Hindemith so I guess I should have but uh, what is it and where'd you find it well I heard this uh, Hindemith variation for clarinet and strings for the first time about a month ago up in Westchester I heard the New York Philharmonic chamber quintet play it mm -hmm. it's the first thing on the program it's a very short piece but it's very effective and the whole all the music from the whole series from the Ploner Musetag, which is simply music for Plon, which is a small town in Germany. Mm -hmm. This is like Hindemith's uh, concept of music education. It's like mm -hmm. he wrote a whole series of things like the Abin concert, the Morgan music, there's a cantata for chorus, small like a school mm -hmm. chorus, mm -hmm. and a couple other things I can't even recall right now. I think Tafel music is another. Mm -hmm. so, so then, this is part. These are two things from the Abin concert part of the of the right. series. So it's a duet. Is the first. It's a duet for violin and clarinet. And then the variations. Variations, and that'll be for for clarinet and three strings. Right. Right. Okay, gentlemen, if you okay. will, performances here in the listening room by the Lydian chamber players, and uh, in this instance. The clarinetist is Mike Getzen, the violinist Robert Zelnick, violist is George Boschakivsky, and the cellist David Boyle.
lovely music by Paul Hindemith, the duet, theme, and variations from the Abend concert. The performance here in our listening room by members of the Lydian chamber players, Mike Getzen, the clarinetist, Robert Zelnick, violinist, the violist, George Boschakivsky, the cellist, David Boyle. All right, let's take a quick intermission, and we start with our weather report, if you will, Bob. It's 10 degrees and cloudy in Manhattan, cloudy and cold today with a high in the mid-20s. Snow and sleet developing tonight, changing to all rain along the coast by morning. The weather service from Zoom Zoom. Great food, great service, popular prices in shopping centers throughout the metropolitan area. Hello, I'm Phil.